What's up YouTube and friends? In this video, I would like to introduce you of this 2014 Honda Beat 110. So let us compare this original one and newly equipped one with some stickers, accessories, and more to see what is the differences of the features, performance, and more between of this previous one or a newly equipped one. We will find out later which is the better. So today, I will take this scooter to a startup, taking an exhaust clip, performance details, taking this scooter to a test drive, light startup, and full tour review. I will show you the most interesting features from the entire scooter. So, there's the key. So this is the key what it looks like. So come and join me and let's begin the tour of this motorcycle. In this particular color of the Beat, known as Red Metallic 4 2014 models featuring two-tone red and black leather seats. There is a mechanism to start a motorcycle. All you have to do is just insert the key to the set right here. Make sure you can insert it and put it on. Uh, as shown, when if in night, there is an orange color in the instrument cluster. And basically, this is an automatic transmission. All you have to do is just, just stand right here. Put your brakes. And hit the button to go. Very nice. Now for the original one.
the steering wheel of the Beat comes with power steering system which is made of a black hard touch plastic material going down from the step boards. The design of the steering wheel, it has a nice lines going up and fades away on both sides. And for the cluster, it has a nice pentagonal shape. Once I driven the scooter, steering is quite good. During the day that I have driven the Honda Beat, it is smooth to steer and easy to drive. The response is quite good by the way. In this gearbox for the Honda Beat, comes with V-Belt automatic transmission, which is easy to drive without any kick shifter using your foot. Therefore, you have a freedom to drive this scooter, but you drive safely as well. Now for the legroom of the scooter, the legroom is quite a little bit of cramp or so. I'm about of 5'10", which is about a little bit of inch, I guess. So the legroom is not bad at all. So when I drive it, it is comfortable to me that I think. As usual, let's flip on the high beam indicator. <laughs> Let us compare the differences of the original one. The original one has huge mirrors, black alloy rims, and more. However, with the newly equipped one, it has gold rims, aftermarket accessories, exhaust, and more. Even the exhaust has changed with a sport exhaust, which is looks like even worse. In addition, the stickers are all around the body of a scooter that looks like even the worst in my opinion. I suggest to the owner of the Honda Beat, the one here in the video, maybe you should put back the original one, not the ugly accessories the, like the sport exhaust, even stickers or so. Speaking of that, the Honda Beat also known as Icon in the other country was on sale a few years ago. Honda Motors Philippines Incorporated manufactured the Honda Beat. Honda manufactured the first Honda Beat also known as FC50 since 1983. It is a 50cc scooter powered by a single cylinder and two-stroke engine that was liquid cooled. This scooter in that time featured v tax this was a small valve in the exhaust port that was operated close to activate by a lever via the rider's left heel. And this scooter featured 12 volt electric start and CVT transmission. The transmission changed from low to high at around 5,500 RPM. Right now, let's talk about the styling and design of the scooter. The design of the scooter, it has a nice sleeker design that makes the scooter a sportier and funkier look that you expected in your daily driving. The material that they use from the entire body from the scooter made with carbon fiber trim, hard plastic, or why not? The lines are nicely flowed down to the rear lights all the way to the end. Of course, there is a number 7 shape and it has nice lines at the middle of the number 7 shape. Therefore, that it will be like even sportier look. In addition of footrest elevation, for more footing option gives a solid stability in your daily driving. Going from the front, the front of the scooter is very funkier and stylish look. When you look at the end of the steering wheel, it has a sharp V-shape from the bottom, the lines are flowed down and it fades away at the end. If you look at below at the steering wheel, 
it has a nice V-shape from its base. Of course, the wheel cover or mud flap, depending what you call it, has a good looking like a beak of a bird, duck, or whatever. The Honda Beat has equipped with Honda's smart lock system whereby if you leave your scooter in to park, it gives your scooter a safer condition. This scooter comes with a 5-spoke aftermarket gold alloy rims wrapped with 8090-40MC 40P. Brakes are consisted of hydraulic ventilated disc at the front. For the front suspension, this scooter gets telescopic fork. The lights have a nice tracking straight line from the edges and it makes the headlights like letter U shape I guess. Once the scooter will start up, the headlights will automatically turn on. And this scooter comes with visible brake master cylinder that it keeps fluid level visible for easy maintenance and easy refueling. This engine of the Honda Beat comes with 108cc 4-stroke overhead cam, air-cooled. It produces 8.28 horsepower at 8,000 rpm and 8.27 newton meters of torque at 6,000 rpm. This scooter comes with a one-piece engine cover, air cleaner positioning, high engine power torque, and acceleration, oil gauge, and or oil level overflow. Fuel tank capacity is 3.5 liters, fuel is unleaded gasoline, fuel system is carburetor, and engine oil capacity is 0.8 liters. Total bore and stroke comes with 50.0 millimeters. Starting system is kick and electric starter, ignition system is DC CDI, and the transmission is V belt automatic. To raise the rear wheels, there is a center stand located underneath. All you have to do, just grab the handle, then put your foot on the lever and pull. Lastly, move on to the rear. The taillights look like a trapezoidal shape, but it has a curvy line a little from the indicator. In addition of rear handle just you saw earlier when I pulled it to raise the rear wheel. Of course, you have mud flaps has a nice U-shaped lines with Honda badging in the middle. All the features of the scooter has include halogen projector headlights, urethane handle for the rear, aftermarket exhaust pipes, key shutter, projector taillights, automatic choke system, side stand switch, one PC engine cover, and dual seat design. The 
Going the rear wheel, the rims is the same as the front wheel, but it is wrapped with 8090-14MC-40P. Brakes for the rear are consisted of mechanical leading trailing. For the suspension from the rear, gets mono shock unit swing. To open up the seat of the scooter, there is a key slot located from the left side of the mud flaps. All you have to do, just insert the key to the slot right there and just click it to the right. That opens up the seat of the scooter. Underneath the seat of the scooter, you open up the cover. There is a little bit of storage that you can put small items. By removing the storage tray, there is a battery underneath and your fuel cap right here. Overall length is around 1869mm with a width of 676mm and a height of 1047mm. Wheelbase dimension is around 1240mm. Dry weight is around 90kg. Seat height is around 747mm and ground clearance is around 154 millimeters. All right, so let's take this beat to a test drive. First and foremost, I would like to thank the, my uncle right now, which is the owner of the Honda Beat, for allowing to come out and film of this Honda Beat right now. So let's talk about the acceleration, shall we? The acceleration is quite good, by the way, which is smooth to drive, and this is quite good. I don't have to say anything right now for the acceleration. Now for the exhaust. The exhaust has changed, but in the previous one, it is quite good, it is smooth to rev up, just like if while you're driving, it is smooth to hear, to hear that sound is quite good, but in the newly equipped one, it's like a sport you're looking like a muscular sound as well, right now, this is kind of a worse that you can put, I think that the original is the better, better than than the newly equipped one with the sub-stickers or so. Now for the steering. The steering response is quite good. It is easy to steer while you're in a daily driving. For the body styling, the styling is quite good. It's more funkier than you think while you're daily driving uh, it was so surprising that oh it's so nice to see that the style is good it is more sportier look well it is uh, quite 
good by the way. For the, auto for the transmission, the automatic V-belt transmission, or the V-belt automatic by the way, it is quite good. It is nice to drive. You have a freedom to drive without any kick shifter like a manual motorcycles. So you can drive safely as well, not too fast. And that's it for the test drive of the Honda. This scooter has a hook that you can put all things like plastic bag or shoulder bag, whatever you can put into the hook that you can attach. Lock the steering wheel, all you have to do is just steer it to the left and just insert the key to the slot right here from the ignition. Just insert it, push it, and turn it to lock to the left and lock. Now let's proceed to the features of the scooter. Right there, you've got your cup holders in each side, hook like I showed you earlier on. On the left side right here, you've got your high beam switch, indicator switch, and your horn. On your right side right here, you've got your push button start, mirrors at each side, which is an aftermarket, and that's it. Okay then, so let's shut off the vehicle and that's about it. Alright, so let's do the on the beat for a night startup. So, upon turning on the motorcycle or a scooter, turn the ignition on, the lights will turn on in the instrument cluster. This looks like a shade of an orange. Now, when you start the, mat the scooter, the lights of the front and the rear will turn on or automatically turned on so there's no switch of turning on the lights only the high beam now let's turn on the or start up the scooter
Now let's go to the front end of the motorcycle. Just turn on the high beam and the indicator. Okay, that's it for now. We can shut down the vehicle. Okay guys, so that's it of our startup and full tour review of this 2014 Honda Beat 110. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and the games will be coming soon on 2016. So, be subscribe early as now. Just click this annotation below and the description box below. So, don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment and then for any suggestions or questions. I'll see you next time for more latest videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching and Wuhai!